What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech and today I wanted to briefly touch base on the battery life of the Galaxy S24. This is the regular version with the smaller 4000 milliamp hour battery. Did I lie? And before saying that this was an all day device, I think maybe I did misread that. But as far as battery life goes on here, I think it could be a little bit better when it comes down to longevity of this device. So we are at 24% right now. And I took this off the charger at exactly roughly 7.30 a.m. this morning. So we are going on 12 hours of usage, but not really usage, just having the device off the charger. Um, now at work, I really don't do much. I expect my devices to last a full eight hours of work, you know, come home and be with about maybe 40% of battery life like the Galaxy S24 Plus is, which I'm using to uh, record this video right now. And I judge my battery life by how long it lasts, not exactly screen on time and things like that. A lot of people are different. Your usage may vary between person to person. And I do not use that judgment as far as battery life goes, screen on time. Don't care about that. I care about how long a phone will run with me using it normally during, you know, a full days of, you know, being at work, listening to music, watching some videos, going on the internet, you know, listening to an audible, editing some pictures, you know, for a video or something like that. That's how I judge my device on how long it should last. And I think this device could last a bit longer. Being at 24% right now, a full 12 hour a day, and I'm not even using this that much. I didn't take any pictures today with this device. And all I did was watch some YouTube, listen to some music. I went on Canva for a little while to edit some photos. Not really doing much on here to justify usage on here. So now the first time I did this was yesterday. I had the wallpaper always on display on and going from at yesterday, I was at 78% at 1038 in the morning. Now I had taken this off the charger again around 730. So three hours and five minutes had stopped charging and I was already at 78. That's with the always on wallpaper on. And then at 1144 AM at 69%. Again, not doing much, you know, just have, you know, YouTube music going and maybe going on here to go on Facebook and YouTube and things like that. Not really doing anything extreme on this device. 1.59 p.m., 55%. And then going on to 2.37 p.m., 49%. You see the, how far it goes down? 3.34, 42%. 5.31 29% almost 7 o'clock 23% so 531 is about the time I'm leaving work at 29% with the Galaxy S24 Plus I'll be leaving work with about 45% so that shows you a little bit of the difference between the two devices almost 7 o'clock 23% and then 745 18% 746 again 18 percent screen on time again i don't judge it by screen on time three hours and 43 minutes i judge it by usage of this device and what i'm doing on it i don't sit there and watch videos all day or play games all day so it's essentially this device is running it's just sitting there not doing much and it's draining and then finally that was it 746 was when i threw this on the charger at 18 percent battery life so about 12 hours, a little over 12 hours of usage, I was at 18% battery life. Is that good? Is that bad? I think it's a little weak for this device. Now I did turn off that always on wallpaper on. So now I have it to where it's just the always on, no draining extra battery for that wallpaper. So again, today, this morning at 1018, 
87%. Remember, took this charger off two hours and 47 minutes before 1018, so around 730-ish. Going on 1137, 77%. Again, not really using it as advice. Playing music on Wi-Fi at work. You know, that's pretty much it. 156, 60%. So it's doing a little bit better here. About a 10% difference in battery life with the always on uh, display wallpaper on and off. 234, 52%. 313, 47%. Now it's starting to go down. 515, almost close to leaving work, 33%. 653, 25% is my last taking on this and it is now 726 24 percent so will this last to bedtime i'm not sure because we're already at 24 percent and that that uh charging warning is going to come up at around what 18 15 percent so definitely not an all-day device and i think it could be a little better definitely not like the s24 plus Comment down below on what you think as far as, do you think this battery life is sufficient for the regular S24 or do you think that, that sucks? I'm not sure. Like I said, it's not really being used all day to justify drainage like that, in my opinion. Now, I'm not taking videos. I'm not editing videos. I'm not doing anything playing games on this device to justify that much drainage on it. It's just pretty much music playing, <laughs> phone sitting on the desk that's what i see right there pick it up every now and then go on youtube whatever put it back down and it's sitting there draining battery so comment down below i think the battery life uh on the regular s24 could be better hopefully a software update will fix that make it a little bit better and i'm sure battery life is way better than it was last year in the s23 and definitely the s24 plus has way better battery life but at least 20% more battery life than this phone is giving out. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you next time here on Sick Eric Tech. Peace.